Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a couple things I want you to work on when doing um, anything with the rifle. So, when you're doing drop spins, make sure that your elbow is connected to your body. You don't wanna be flapping it. Kinda of just like with flag, how you don't go like this, you keep it straight out. With the rifle, you don't wanna flap it. So when you're doing the drop spins, you just wanna keep it right by your arm. And you can practice with a flip-flop and that will help so that you don't drop your flip-flop. Like, let me show you. So I were to take a Chaco and put it in between, right where your elbow is, the Chaco should not fall, okay? So if I start flapping, then it's gonna fall, yeah? Um, also, um, make sure it's not up here. Like you, uh, yeah, no, not that. You want it down here, right by your, uh, like where you wear your pants at, if they were not high-waisted. So just right down here, yeah? Your arm should be just straight out from your body. Not like up here or down here. Just right next to your body. Okay? Alright, um, also, let's see. When you start tossing, I want you to start like this. I want you to do two drop spins. One, two. Then I want you to flip a half to reach this position. Okay? So you'll go one, two, hit. Okay, when you do that, it has to be strong. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, hit. From there, you dip, okay? It's like how you wear a seatbelt. Okay, so you dip like this, and then you'll release. When you release, your hand will come down. Smack your leg, okay? And then your other hand goes straight up with your palm and fingers together in the air, like so. And release points for a triple, it is at your nipple. There are kids around, I do not want to say that too loud. So triple, nipple. Quad is at your shoulder. Five is at your ear. Six is at your hairline. And anything above that is up here. Okay, so make sure that you have all those things going on when you toss. Because if you toss without that good technique, then the judges watching you are going to give you no recognition for your toss because it doesn't mean anything if you don't have the technique to go behind it. So, one, two, hit, hit, and then out, okay? When you catch, you need to have your hand all the way at the end of the tip, okay? You don't wanna see any of your tip showing. That's ugly, don't show that, okay? Get your hand all the way out. So when you toss, I would always say to reach farther out and that'll help you catch your tip. So if you think really far out, then that should be able to catch your tip, okay? Um, okay, also, when you catch your toss, I do not want to see this. Or, ugh, okay, it does not weigh 100 pounds. Don't make it look like it weighs 100 pounds, right? So when you catch, you need to have your body up. So catch into your toss. Don't let the toss affect your body, okay? It should still be right where you are. Okay. You, you just have to learn to keep your feet planted on the ground and toss. And what's gonna help you from not moving is your release point into your release. So once you release, you don't want to release it that way. You don't wanna release it that way. You wanna release it straight up. That makes sense? So if you're releasing a triple, you would go one, two, hit, hit, out, catch. 